20 seconds and counting. Hey, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video. It's Anish, and today we're going to be talking about should the Texans re-sign safety Justin Reed. And before I get into that, some news just broke out this morning ahead of the Jets game. And it says that Justin Reed had a disagreement with the coaching staff, and that's why he's a healthy scratch today. And David Culley says he's maintaining consistency in how he handles individual player situations. And that goes back to how he benched Zach Cunningham for disciplinary reasons for the first quarter against the Browns game due to lateness issues and previously not choosing to attend a preseason game and starting cornerback being benched for uh, the entire game in the Rams game uh, due to unexcused absences at team activities. But I feel like this is very, very petty. Like, just to voice a different opinion with the coaching staff, who, I mean, it could have been, a, like, a very harmless or friendly suggestion, but um, just because of player voices his opinions... And to make to bench him to make him a healthy scratch is pretty inexcusable. Like this, uh, a lot of people are mentioning that this isn't like college, right? Like this is the NFL. Like disagreements are going to happen, and especially when the the team itself is not in a good position. Like they don't really are in the position to even like shut down any like opinions. Like if if we're winning, and then he made a suggestion, that would be different than us being two and eight currently. And then Justin Reed made a like a suggestion. So I don't understand that. And especially Justin Reed's in a contract year. And that goes back to the main topic of this video. Is that should the Texans re-sign Justin Reed? And if you're going to bench him in a contract year where he needs to show out and show us what he's got. Um, this is definitely not helping him at all. And so and whether or not um, we should re-sign Justin Reed is pretty uh, uh, complex, I guess. Because... Um, on one hand, he's one of like one of the better players on our defense, um, but but if you were to ask me, would I give him like a, like a four year like hefty contract? Maybe not, maybe not market resetting safety contract, but something close to that. I would probably hesitate, and I probably wouldn't honestly, because I don't think Justin Reed, as good as he is, he is kind of injury prone. And if you think of a similar situation we encountered. Um, was with Will Fuller, in which he's very good, like one of the better wide receivers um, in the league, but he's very injury prone, and for that reason, we did not re-sign him. And I feel like it's for similar reasons too, and if Justin Reed did show more, like if 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 you told me after his rookie season, should we give him a multi-year contract, I would say yes, definitely. But after that, he's kind of fallen off, like hasn't been the same Justin Reed we've seen in the past. Um, I mean, that could also be a, another reason due to injuries, but I don't know if I personally want to give Justin Reed a huge contract, and especially since we're a rebuilding team, we got to see, like, which guys we absolutely need to keep, and uh, I don't know, I'm not sure if Justin Reed's going to be one of them, particularly, but if he does, like, agree to sign here on, like, a, like a realistic deal, and I, I'm sure Justin Reed knows, like, how his performance is and maybe might be reasonable in what he wants. Um, but I think the player's mentality is to chase the bag. So wherever, whichever team throws the most money at him, I think that's where he'll go. And respectfully, he should do that, honestly, as a player, go wherever the money is. Um, because the NFL players' careers are very short-lived, so might as well take what you can get. Um, but, yeah, to me, I don't know if we should resign him. Um, things can change if he does, like, play, like, super amazing in the last like stretch of the season but as of right now my position is that we shouldn't re-sign him and i'm sure there's other free agents that we should look for too such as quandre Diggs from the seahawks who's he's a decent player who i'd be interested in not signing but then again like this upcoming draft where we could potentially have three first round picks from trading deshaun watson and this this draft is definitely needed for us like where we should go mainly defense in my opinion, and so like if we choose to not re-sign Justin Reed, then safety would definitely be, uh, or secondary in general would definitely be uh, a place where we would need to draft. So there's so many things, and I just hate to say it because Justin Reed has really taken on a huge leadership role over the years, um, especially with like guys like J.J. Watt gone and Sean Watson basically out the picture, DeAndre Hopkins gone. He's kind of basically assumed that 
like role as kind of like the franchise guy, but like, um, like by like leadership wise, um, like he really takes it upon himself that like, like whenever after a bad loss, he's like, like my bad guys, it's my fault. Um, but yeah, it's really tough because Justin Reed's such a good guy. Like, um, but yeah, I think the best interest of this team would to not pay him a huge contract. But let me know what y'all think in the comment sections below. Um, and as always, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Thank y'all for watching. Peace.